Today our video is going to be what you've asked for. Many of you asked about what regulator to use and when we should be using USB-C. There are actually several options available and as always we are going to use off-the-shelf parts. All items listed below. Today, we're going to go over three options when powering your new M4 Mac Mini. The first one you've seen in all our prior video, which is this DC to DC regulator, which you notice that there is two potentiometer, that's adjustable voltage and amps. The left controls the voltage output and the right limits the amount of amp output. Second is a regulated DC car adapter which just happens to be the same one we used to sell for the Microsoft Surface tablets. It does not need any voltage configuration. Finally, another often asked about from our last video is USB-C input. This will work for your M4 Mac Mini, but there's a catch. If this is useful to you, please subscribe and like. Okay, let's begin with the adjustable power board using my multimeter, depending on how you got your DC regulator board from the factory. You'll need to turn the pot or potentiometer clockwise to increase the voltage or counterclockwise to decrease the voltage. Stop when you are about 12.6 volts. We have found that Apple over engineers their stuff and so far we've found that a half a voltage up or down will not hurt. However, you didn't hear that here. I also cranked the right potentiometer all the way up clockwise, so I can provide the full 5 amps that the Mac Mini may need. After attaching the output plug, I do some more testing. This next one will be quick because there is no adjusting involved. You simply plug it in. What's nice about this option is that all the circuitry is contained inside the cigarette plug. While the DC power board we just worked with will require you to put that into a project box or something. As you can see, this perfectly lands at 12.6 volts. However, this particular adapter only outputs 3.6 amps. So if you do plan on going over 45 watts, then you're going to have to go with a bigger adapter. However, we don't think you will. Okay, based on the comments from our last video, this is what you've been waiting for. Can we power this via USB-C? And the short answer is yes, but you must not exceed 3 amps. Let's power this up and we'll run through the power selections. At 5 volts, you'll get up to 3 amps. 9 volts, up to 3 amps. 12 volts, up to 3 amps. 15, up to 3 amps. And finally, 20 volts, up to 5 amps. So, if you don't plan on using a bunch of accessories and pushing your CPU to its limits, I suspect simply using an USB-C board will work. However, if there are some of you who will need to go over 60 watts or more, you will need to complicate matters by installing another device called a buck converter. That will essentially take the 20 with up to 5 amps and reduce it back down to 12 volts. Personally, I'm not a fan of this. But because it does not have a setting for 12 volts and go above 3 amps, we are pretty much at the mercy of the USB-C standards. This time, however, 
We're going to focus on the good possibility that most of you are not going to fully tax your M4 Mac Mini. So we're going to install a USB-C board into our M4. Let's see where we should put the USB-C power input. Looks like we're going to have to remove some parts in order to make it fit. Hum. Shall we copy Apple and stick the USB-C port straight out the bottom? Nah, I'm not paid enough to engineer that, so let's keep trying. I think I've found my location. Let's remove the DC port we put in from our last video. That was weird.
Did I just short something out? That sounds better. My bad. External monitor only works on the Thunderbolt ports. Okay, now that we know it works, time to make my Mac Mini even more holy. My other favorite tool.
Hey Apple, I have a bulge on the bottom of my Mac Mini. Can you fix this? Thank you for subscribing, liking, and encouraging us with your comments below. What do you want to see next? Another thing we'd like to mention is that the power output depends on the size of your USB-C adapter. In this case, make sure you have a large enough car adapter, like our very own 87W USB-C car adapter.